This is my sand muller that I finished back on December 4 of 2015. It has two plows and a 25 pound roller made from the bottom of a five gallon pail and some concrete. I poured a bunch of scrap nails into the concrete to add weight. The plastic helps prevent sand from sticking. Since I started doing a bit more casting, I wanted a muller to keep my sand conditioned better and faster. Prior to this, I had used a tiller attachment on my string trimmer, but I was afraid I was going to wear it out on my foundry sand, and the wife wouldn't be too happy about that. There's a wooden arm made of scrap plywood, about four layers of it glued and screwed together, that carries the roller and its axle on some skate bearings to allow the roller to move up and down as it rides over chunks of hard sand. There's a door hinge. The Muller's gear reduction began here. This is one of seven sectors of three quarter inch plywood curved racks and a three tooth lantern gear that engages it. I used Matthias Wandel's gear generator program to make these. There are 52 teeth in the big gear, which gives a 17 and one third gear ratio. This, along with about a four and a quarter to one ratio of the washing machine motor to pulley, gives approximately a 74 to one ratio, taking a 1725 RPM motor down to about 23 RPM. The Maytag motor I have is two speed, so I have a choice of 23 or 46 RPM. This lantern gear arrangement is a little bit noisy, but due to the ball bearings, there's practically no friction between the drive gear and the wood. I've run the muller quite a bit now, with no sign of wear or failure on this gear reduction. Here's the base frame with a car wheel bearing and a Maytag washing machine motor. The motor has a 2 inch pulley, which is not original. Then the 8.5 inch pulley is a Maytag agitate and spin cycle drive pulley, which I have mounted on a jack shaft made from a bolt going through a wheel assembly I got at Tractor Supply. The 3 tooth lantern gear is right on top of that pulley. In this shot, I have all the sectors glued and screwed to the bottom of this big MDF disc, which is also mounted to the car wheel bearing. The wheel bearing was from my 1999 Dodge Caravan. It was starting to get noisy, but it's still very strong for a low speed, low stress application such as this. Here's the framework starting to take shape. It's just built of scrap 2x6's I had laying around. I also drilled the 5 hole pattern in the bottom of the blue barrel section which is visible in the upper right. The muller actually worked and I used it for a while just like this with no roller. I would stomp the sand with my 8 pound splitting mall to break up the chunks. Those white flecks are sawdust. Not sure how they got in there. I let the concrete roller cure in a moist environment for about two weeks until finishing to this stage.
The switch box on the side allows turning the muller on and off, as well as changing between high and low speed. The scraping sound you're hearing is the plow scraping the side because the barrel isn't perfectly round or isn't mounted exactly on center. So I hope you enjoyed this and gave you some ideas for your own sand muller build. Thanks for watching.